Hey everybody, it's David Pingree here with Upshift Online. We're at KTM today. We're here looking at the brand new KTM 790 Adventure R. Super popular bike, a lot of these moving off the showroom floor. So we're gonna walk through today how to change the oil properly in one of these. All right, the first step in changing the oil on this thing is getting rid of this bottom skid plate and the fuel tank protectors. You're gonna do that by loosening these two eight millimeter bolts. These three are gonna stay in place. Those attached to a vibration dampener up top, leave those in place. These two come out along with four others at the front. So the four that need to come out up front are these four right here. Do not worry about any of the bolts on the gas tank cover. Those will slide right out with the whole skid plate as one unit. All right, one last thing you need to do before this plate comes off is just pop this little vent cap off. This hose line just is for vent that comes through the guard here. So release that and everything's ready to come off. All right, once you've done that, everything should just pull right down. All right, back on the left side of the bike, these are your two drain bolts here. They're 13 millimeters. Pull these out to release the oil. And then this is our oil filter here, two eight mils. And we'll pull that out and replace the filter as well. All right, one little trick we like to do is to pull the oil filler plug out and leave this on our bench. That way we don't get overly excited and start this thing up before we put oil back in it. Remember as you pull these out to make sure that both of your filters come out with it. We're going to give those a good cleaning before we put these back in. All right, so we got the drain plug screens out. It's important to remember these are both identical, so don't worry about which one came out of which side. doesn't matter. And then we take contact cleaner, and we're going to clean the screens out. And also, don't forget to clean these magnets. There's little magnets in each one of these that collect debris, and we're going to clean that off well before we reinsert these again. All right, we're going to take the oil filter cover off. And unlike our screens on the other side, these can't be reused. So anytime you change your oil, you want to replace this oil filter. All right, so to get the filter itself out, if you have circlet pliers, these are the best bet because they squeeze out and let you pinch it. You can also take needle nose, put them in there and kind of open them up to put some pressure on the outside of this and that'll also work. Just whatever lets you kind of get a bite on it and pull it out. All right, we're uh, making sure we get that magnet, any debris that might be in there. Get that all cleaned off and then give a good cleaning to this filter here. Just to make sure there's no debris on it. All right, as we reinstall these, we need to make sure we torque them to the appropriate spec which is 20 Newton meters or 14.8 foot pounds of torque. So we've already got that set up here on our torque wrench. There's a little bit of resistance as you get that screen in there. Don't push on it too hard, just sort of finesse it in. and we're set. All right, time to put the filter back in. We always recommend using OE products. Uh, it just gives you that assurance that it's a quality product and you wanna prime these. So take some, uh, we're using Motor X 10W50 here and we're gonna drop this down into the center of the filter. And you do it over the oil pan. You don't have to worry about a mess. This just assures that once you put oil in it, you're putting the right amount in. And we're gonna drop this in. You'll feel this thing kind of set in the back there so you know it's in place. All right, now before you install the oil filter cover, we gave this thing a good wipe down, made sure there was no debris in it. You wanna check this O-ring to make sure there's no nicks in that, it's in good condition. And once you've assured that, you can set it right back in place. Reinstall your eight millimeters. Make sure this thing is sitting down flush before you crank on one. Nice and snug, but not over tight. 
and we're ready to add oil. If you want to assure that the torque is right on these, it's going to be 10 newton meters with a torque wrench. All right, we're ready to put the oil back in. We've got our Motor X 10W50. 2.8 liters is the right amount for this. And uh, I would recommend, we've got ours up on a lift, but if you put the kickstand down and lean it to the left side, it'll give you a little bit better access to this uh, intake here. We're going to go ahead and just be real careful with a funnel. And it's going to take a little while. All right, once you've got all the oil in there, and 2.8 liters is a lot. Uh, so if you feel like you might have made a mistake converting from fluid ounces to liters, just know that's a lot of oil. It's going to take a little time. Uh, but we're ready to put the cap back on. If you lift up on this tank a little bit, it'll give you a little bit better clearance. And then if you want to snug it down with a pair of needle nose pliers, you can do that. Uh, but really, if you just make sure it's snug by hand, you should be good. There we go. All right, once your oil filler cap's back on, I would recommend wiping these down. Make sure there's nothing loose on here and then start the motorcycle, let it run for a little bit. Come back and double check, make sure you don't have any leaks here. You didn't pinch this O-ring, uh, that can happen. So we just wanna make sure we've got good seals uh, before we put our skid plate back on. And then one more thing, after you've run the bike, you wanna come in and just double check, make sure your oil level is right. You should be right in the center of this red circle. All right, we're ready to reinstall our skid plate. One thing that'll help if you throw a little bit of oil or WD-40 on these tabs on either side, they'll slide right up into that gas tank a little bit better. All right, so you just wanna basically position these little slots right into the tank. And if you give them a little shove, they'll pop up into place and we're ready to reinstall our eight millimeter bolts. All right, KTM recommends starting these back two first. These are rubber mounted, so that gives you a little bit of flex as you're trying to get the front four set up. That's not recommended by KTM, but if you're gonna be doing a lot of off-roading, might want to just take some medium strength Loctite and put a little dab on each one of these. And our torque spec on these is going to be 10 Newton meters. All right, that's our oil change on our KTM 790 Adventure R. Remember that this is just an oil change. It's not a complete service. For your full service at 9,300 miles, you're going to want to go down to a KTM dealer and have them plug into the ECU, see if there's any updates, and really go through it thoroughly. Uh, and also remember that that initial oil is just a break-in oil. At uh, 620 miles, you want to get you want to do your first oil change, and then moving forward from there, it's 9,300 miles, uh, and so on and so forth. So uh, that's how we do it. Hope we helped you. Enjoy your KTM, and we'll see you on the next video.